hands are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? We're going to uh, do a little feeding today. Take out some hay, do the normal pellets and I don't even know what we call the for the goats. It's like, to me, it's nothing but junk food, but they love it. It's yeah. got a, to me, it's got a lot of syrup in it. You guys will see that. Yeah. But we'll feed them some of that. Uh, I think the chickens are probably still good, aren't they? Uh, I probably need to add some laying pellets to them. Uh -oh. oh, it's starting to rain. This should be fun. Well, that means we better hurry up. <laughs> Raining here has been on and off the past couple days, so we're trying to get it all done. So forgive us, there's a lot of mud out here. Oh, hopefully none of us fall. If we do, try not to laugh at us. I'll catch it on video if he falls. I'll probably need a back surgery. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> so, all right. So this is actually my shop. Uh, started out, you probably can't see it, maybe a little bit of it right there motorcycle that's my thing i absolutely love it uh but whenever we started getting animals some of my shop had to be reorganized as you see we have some straw for the the bedding and chicken scratch and and all the feed and, and everything else in here is kind of taking over my shop don't worry i still got my fridge so you guys know what i'm talking about my place to hang out here so, for the donkeys, we just do normal all stock pellets. Since they mainly graze a lot on the hay and everything else, we only do a, a scoop between the three of them, and that's plenty for them. And then the, uh, the syrup here, which I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, see if it'll focus in a little bit maybe I don't know it's like mainly syrup and corn and I don't even know what else but between the four of them I do about a scoop and a half mainly because we got a couple soon to be mamas out there I like to try to keep them happy keep them healthy First string on the first try. You're lucky. But we feed our chickens and ducks. Sorry. We feed our chickens and ducks this uh, Laina from, I believe it's Pedigree. Pedigree, yeah. That's what I was about to say. I just want to say it wrong. Um, it gives them all their calcium. It gives them all their vitamins and nutrients that they need uh, to be laying. I don't really have to add any calcium supplements to their stuff for their eggs to be strong. Um, from what I've read, you can, if you start noticing that your eggs are soft or that you can start seeing through them, that is whenever your eggs meet or your chickens need a calcium. Um, from what I've noticed, this has the perfect mixture. We have never had an issue with our eggs looking, I mean, any, um, in a little bit, I'll show you what our eggs look like. I mean, some of the shells are super, super strong, um, stronger than any of the store-bought eggs that we've gotten. So, but we all know how that goes. Um, but yeah, we fill this up probably, I would say every three or four days. Um, they go through it for about, I have six ducks now. We lost a duck the other day, which I'll tell you that story in a little bit. Um, but we have six ducks and nine chickens. Um, we have eight hens and one rooster, um, and they go through that probably in about three to four days, and they love it. Um, we should probably hang so, it. Whenever she says we fill it up, we don't fill it up. It's probably actually only halfway. Yeah. It's about all it is, honestly. And they have the ability, I'll show you, they have the ability to look in the bottom. Oh, I'm dumping some out. Um, they can eat all the way around this. You can hang these too, um, because it has a, once they eat it, it fills or it continues to fill the bottom. Um, and so, but this is an, this is an older one. It's a little beat up. It's well loved, um, but it works perfect for us. So, but we'll, uh, I'm going to back up so you can see me. Um, we'll go out there and we'll, we'll feed everybody and you get to see how everybody eats every evening. So. Everybody's crying because they're hungry. Yeah, I hear ya. They're all at the gate.
Yeah, I know, babies. You act like you're being starved. I know it. So, one thing before we get too far in here, with our two little ones there, you're starting to see that their uh, their bags are coming in. Kind of a sign that they're getting closer to having them babies. So, hopefully, we can hold off for at least another month so I can get shots. Well, I've got it. I just got to give it to them now. And get a uh, some kidding stalls built. Again, one thing we didn't really plan on, but we're getting it done. So, but those are the two happy, happy ladies that we got to keep happy for sure. And Maverick, you stay out. Yeah, he likes to help. Whoop, thank you for that, Maverick. All right, guys, you got to let me in. You gotta let me in, ladies. Come on. All right. Are you stuck? Did you get scared? No? You're just gonna stay there. Okay. So I'm gonna split this up between the three uh, ladies here, but I do have to leave some in here for yeah, Captain Ramrod down there, he's, he's <laughs> trying to take out a fence. Yeah, he's hungry too. So, I always leave some for him. <laughs> All right, you gotta give me the bucket. <laughs> She ought to be named Tank. She just moves them. In fact, there's the whole kidding barn area that we're working on. That's why the pallet's in front of it. Uh, they don't have to go inside of it right now. And I've got it laid out to try to do what I want to do there. Get, I'm sorry, I'm cutting off half of my head. Didn't even realize it. But laid it out, try to get it planned in my mind and also see what I need. So hopefully I'll get that all done this uh, either this coming week or next weekend. So... Let's go feed uh, Ramrod down here, or Nimrod, or whatever we want to call him today. Actually, I think he's quit, so let's go ahead and call him Bailey. Again, a lot of rain. It's pointed, isn't it? Okay. I always double wrap that because, I mean, as you can see, he's trying to destroy everything he can. We've got extra cattle panel there. We've got some on this side over here. I've got some. I just haven't went along the edges yet for his pin. The rest of them we don't need to. We've uh, we got this welded wire. Some people use it. Some people don't. I think it's done good for us. So, except for him. Everybody else is just fine. So, but learning and watching my friends, uh, our goat, or our buck, should I say, is not the only turn. Apparently it's uh, genetics with the males. So, something we gotta deal with whenever we want these little, cute little babies running through the house. Cause I'm sure that's where mine will be. So, let's feed these other girls that are screaming at us. 
and of course wonky donkey Day that the chickens and ducks are roaming like they do. Well, the ducks are all up there right now. But I was at work. Lauren had a uh, heard them going off doing their quacking and, and fighting and everything like they usually do. She noticed it was a little excessive, so she came around the side and looked and saw a big boy here. Let me tell you, he's kind of fat, so it takes a lot to get this momentum going. I saw him running down the hill, going after something. So she runs into the house to go grab uh, one of the guns. Granted, she passed a few of them on the way to get a special one, for whatever reason. I mean, they all work the same. But she runs through the house. By the time she gets one, she looks out the back door and she sees it with the bobcat in his mouth. Throws it up in the air. If I'm not mistaken, he grabs back a hold of it and has it down on the ground and he's stomping on it. So by the time Lauren gets out here to decipher his shot, the bobcat gets away and he's running as fast as he can, but He's got somebody here hot on his trail to get back after him and grab a hold of him again. Bobcat made it over the fence and got away. Thankfully, he slammed on the e-brakes and didn't go through the fence. But uh, from my understanding, it's a guarantee that that Bobcat is either really hurt or dead. Both things will work out good for us. I hope that he's really hurt and made it back to the rest of his crew and said, hey, don't go over there, it's a crazy donkey. Unfortunately, we did lose one duck, one of my favorite ducks. I just love the color of it. But we've got more, you know, it's all right. Thankfully, we've got those others because he saved them. Dustin's telling his story. I'm being cameraman. Um, but you can see whenever Maverick passes his food, that is the only time that Wonky has ever shown any sort of aggression was with the Bobcat and whenever Maverick gets next to his food. He is not a fan of Maverick coming, and you'll see it in just a second. Yeah, he does not like Maverick getting next to his food. But any other time, he's fine with Maverick pacing the fence. Um, but that is a good reason as to why we do not let Maverick in the fence, um, just because I don't want our old man of a canine over there getting hurt uh, because he's he wants to play, but I don't think Wonky wants to play with him. So, so this middle duck right here in this group, the mainly black one with the white chest. Oh, she's gonna stretch it out and make me a liar right now. Her name is Pickle. She's one of our first few ducks. Since this has happened, her neck, she's been keeping it crouched down like she's got right now instead of stretched out like the other ones. So if anything, anybody knows anything as to maybe what happened or, or if there's something that we need to do for her, let us know. She'll stretch it out once in a while, but then it kind of goes right back. And she doesn't have any wounds. There's no blood anywhere. She's able to function she's able to eat everything like that but she's just not she's just you can see her she's walking right there in the middle with the white patch on her chest yeah, right over here yeah she's uh she's just keeping her neck tucked in so, um she's really not showing any signs of injury or anything like that it's really just her neck being you know tucked in like this so i don't know um like like dustin said you know if anybody else knows anything or maybe like it's a shock thing because it's been a couple days since it's happened um my other cayuga 
I, we didn't name her, but it was one of Dustin's favorites. Um, I tried everything I could for her. She had a wound. She was wounded underneath her left wing. Um, and by the time I had gotten to her, she was already coagulating. Um, so, I mean, I think, I don't know if it punctured a, a lung or if I, it broke her back. I don't know. I tried, like I said, I tried everything I could, um, but I ended up just having to hold her until she went. So it was really sad, um, but I talked to her because I talked to all my animals. Um, they're my babies, but I just told her I was so sorry and I felt terrible that I couldn't save her and, and everything else. But I mean, it just, it's one of those things that it happens on a farm. I mean, I can't, I can't be out here all the time with them. Um, I try to let them free range whenever I'm home. Uh, whenever I'm gone, I like to put them up, but I mean, I just couldn't, I couldn't save them. So um, luckily Wonky did his job um, and that he was uh, the protector and I only lost one. I could have lost all of them. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm being grateful for right now. All right, so now we'll do the hate part. We don't do this maybe with goats, I think like maybe week, week and a half. Uh, due to the system that we have, it's, it's kind of helpful. We just kind of use our judgment as far as the donkeys. Sometimes every three days or so they'll get some. Usually, we'll bring it in with our little side-by-side -side mule and run it. But it's so wet right now, we're just going to destroy everything and probably get stu stuck. So, these little red wagons that the boys had whenever they was younger, they no longer use it, so I put it to work. And it is about giving up on us. It is uh, trying to rust through. <laughs> so let's go feed these, uh, these goats. This was the IBC tote. You can get them on Facebook Marketplace, stuff like that. Uh, fairly reasonable price. Shop around, definitely. Because some people think they're like gold and other people know that they're really not worth a whole lot. Except for to make something out of, because they're not really reusable and stuff. So, I made this one ourselves. You're already eating, you can't even wait for it to be put up. So, I made this one ourselves, or myself. Uh, fairly simple to do. I'll make a video of it sometime, because I do need to build another one. Uh, one thing I can say is if you do one, save the bottom as a catch. Granted, it does not catch all, but it does catch some. Save the top, it's a good rain protector, keeps the rain off of it. One thing I will say for the goats, put something in here because the squares are big enough to where these little ones can get inside and they'll get their heads stuck. Well, chunky mama over there got her head up in there. I swore, I was like, Are you stuck? I'd look at her and she'd eat some. So I went off, did something else, came back a couple minutes later. I was like, I'm pretty sure you're stuck. She needs some more. Finally, I just went in there and pulled her head out because she was just going to play it off because she wasn't stuck. She was just eating. She got her head in here and she couldn't get her horns and everything tucked back just right. So with goats, pay attention with that. Use a different kind of netting or fence or something to close this off. On the next one I build, I'll be doing that and I'll move this one down to the donkeys. So... I always just throw one bell in here. You can throw more than that, but one's just fine. Does what they needed to do. And I forgot the pocket knife inside, so we'll just get it off this way. So this is just some uh, bluegrass prairie hay we got from a guy a few towns over. So far, they have not complained. They have ate just about every bell. I think we had maybe one that they kind of didn't care for. They still ate it. They just wasn't fond of it. So something else that I do is I grab one sleeve. And I call it sleeve. I don't know what everybody else wants to call it. But you kind of see how it's separated into squares. I grab one, take it down to, to Bailey down there. But with 
how much rain we've been getting and everything else. Surprisingly, even with high winds, what do we get up to? 60, 50, 60 the other night? This thing stays on. I was kind of shocked. It really was. But it stayed on. I've even got bungee cords inside and I thought about running it over, but at this point it'd almost be a waste of a bungee cord. So oh, let's go feed these others now. They'll attack that thing as soon as we walk off. So with Bailey's, his is real simple. His is just a, like a 55 gallon drum or plastic drum, tote, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some welded rebar to kind of make a gate out of it or grate. That's kind of what it is for him. It's simple. I'll just drop it down in there. He'll pull it out and eat it. That's plenty for him. Very simple. I got those from a friend, so I didn't actually build them, but I've got... I don't know, four or five of them at least. Just drop it down in there. He's already going to town on it. So, fairly easy deal. He's already pacing the fence. Well, he knows. He's like, man, mom and dad are giving me all kinds of stuff tonight. Either that or he wants to try to run to that feeder. One of the two. Yeah. I've learned this. Let me get lined up just right. Every action possible. This thing. Actually. Sorry, I make sound effects sometimes when stuff happens, so y'all will notice that the more we go about this uh, channel thing. Um, Creed, my son, says that I sound like a ninja because I'll go, Oi! and I just don't even mean to. So if y'all hear that, just post a comment and say, hey, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> All right, say, you can't go in there, dude. I know you're Cameron, but can you grab that gate? And see, this is extreme mud back here, unfortunately. We had a water pill issue not too long ago, so I tried to fix it. And on top of all the rain, it's just a mud ball right through here. So yeah, hey, it's seriously. Uh, Let me get it down. It's pretty bad, huh, sister? Hi, Ricky. Hi, baby girl. Yeah. Oh, what spooked you? Oh, it was a chicken coming through the fence. Thank you, Janice. That was. I love that. All right, let's make it down this hill and not fall. Oh, Ricky, what are you doing, ma'am? You, right. you feeling spicy today, Ricky? So right now, I'm literally just putting it inside of here on the ground. Not the best, I know, but if they don't eat it, it's going to turn into bedding for them. If they do eat it, great. Eventually, hopefully, it's on the list. I've got a long list. I'll build another tote. That way we can get a tote out here, and it'll be up off the ground and dry for them. But right now, they're eating. on both sides because as you can see Ricky earlier she was being a little, a little funky so I like to keep them separated or we like to keep them separated that way nobody's kicking or thinking they're not getting enough food because Lord knows they get enough food um, but they all for some reason think they're starving so but yeah we usually put it on both sides that way everybody's spread out and they're doing fine so. so and eventually up here Gonna come in. I'm gonna build a, a hayloft since we got so much extra room. Store some up here, up above. 
That way it makes it a lot easier to feed these guys. I mean, I, I honestly think that I could probably put 10 bales inside here up on the top. That way they got plenty. Uh, we do do the square bales right now. It's just easier for us. We don't have a tractor directly for us. There is some on our farm. However, they're not directly for us. So we don't, it's easier to do these right now rather than the big square bells or the big round bells. So we do have access to those, obviously, I mean, out here. Um, but like I said, this just works for us right now. We work with what we got. Um, even more of a reason for all of you guys to like and share all of our videos because this stuff does benefit us in a way. We do it because we want you guys to all know. Wonky, I promise you don't kick me because you're being a turd. Thank you. He is being Sorry. A turd. We should probably come out of here so they can eat. So this stuff does benefit us. And like I said, we, we don't do it for the benefits. We do it because we like to have fun. We enjoy it. Our kids, it's a little too chilly for them to be out here right now. Um, but our kids enjoy it. So it's good for all of us. It's good family. I mean, we get to spend time with each other. You know, so I work a lot. So it's, it's great for me to get out and have fun doing this stuff. But with these likes and subscribes and shares, it helps us be able to afford this feed and these different things that we got to do, the fencing and, and the gates and, and the different medicines and all that stuff. I mean, uh, these medicines, like they're, they're not cheap, but we enjoy it. Something else that we also do is our shirts, our hoodies, uh, some of our hats. We make these and we do sell them. So yeah, which I'll turn around so you guys can see the back of it. It's our, our logo of everything. Uh, we have a bunch of different designs. We do make these. So whenever you order them, it's, it's not ready. They do have to be made and that is done all in house. So get with us. Uh, I think we'll probably uh, post a, a link or, or share a link to a webpage where you can order this stuff from. Cause all that, that like it's, we ain't trying to get rich. It goes straight into them. We're trying to make sure that they got food. I'm sorry, I hit the hand. <laughs> She's spooky today. Yeah, she is. So, but this is this is what it's all for, and it's to have fun. We had some kids out here earlier today. Uh, some some little kids that uh, used to go to daycare with my youngest. Oh, we're gonna lose the camera. It's Hopefully too windy. Not. But they were out here. They were enjoying the, the goats and the donkeys, feeding them and, and everything else, feeding them crackers and stuff. So it's not just for us. It's for anybody. We enjoy it. We have fun. Well, and another thing, too, is we, we use it to teach our kids. We use it to teach other people's kids um, because I grew up on a farm um, my whole entire life. Uh, my family dealt mainly with cattle, um, but, you know, this teaches them compassion it teaches them kindness it teaches them empathy it teaches them responsibility it teaches them you know our oldest um he is way into roadblox right now or Fortnite or whatever it is right now um, yeah, whatever takes b bucks that's all i know about. yeah um but he is he knows that if he wants money on his game system he has to come out here and he has to work for it um, he shovels poop, he helps us feed, he helps feed chickens, he gathers eggs, but he knows we're teaching him at a young age that it take, if you want something, you have to work for it. Um, Kaiser, our youngest, which you saw him on our last video, he's our little ham. Um, so I'm excited to kind of catch the crap talking that he does usually because he's, he has a personality like no other. Um, but he's a little young for that, but as soon as he gets of, a, of, of age um, to understand the concept of work and, and being paid for work, then we'll do the same thing with him. Um, we want our kids to know that it's okay to be playing and, and everything like that, but whenever there's a time to be working, there's a time to put in work and work your hardest. Um, you give 110% and then you can play and give 110% when you play. Um, but I think this... Uh, society and new generation that we're in I think there is a lot of people that are lacking that I'm probably gonna get some hate for saying that I don't care 
Um, but there's a lot of people that don't have a work ethic and uh, our kids will not be those type of people. Um, our kids will be the ones, I hope and pray, that our kids will be the ones that you can call, that their friends can call and they know that they're gonna show up with a pickup or a trailer or whatever they need um, and, some, and some gloves and be able to be willing to work because um, that's how I was raised, that's how he was raised, and so that's how we're raising our kids. So hopefully on, that on this channel, we can show who we are and what we do and why we do it. Um, but the main purpose is, is, is we are, we've started this whole thing to teach our kids the life lessons um, and show them really how good God is and with creation and especially with the, the new babies that we'll be having in the spring. Um, we hope to show them and make it a, a lesson about how God is truly great and he is the one who has blessed us with all of this. Um, and so they can kind of see the circle of life and, and just learn as much as they can. So that's, sorry to get on a soapbox, but no, you're good. That was, that's my goal and that's his goal as parents is to make sure that our kids turn out as, as good people. And I think what better way to do that than getting them some farm animals and letting them get out here and play with them and, and learning the, with their hands on learning. So. We'll be real excited this summer whenever they can get out here yeah. a lot more without yeah. getting sick. Parents will definitely understand that. Yeah. It's miserable whenever they get sick, so we can't deal with it. Uh, I mean, I hate being sick. I'm a big old baby, so whenever they get sick, I feel like I'm always going to catch it. And sometimes <laughs> well, I do. Well, it does. If you're a parent, you know that if one kid gets sick, it's just a domino effect through the whole house. Yeah, you got so. two weeks of sickness after that. So we're kind of being proactive. And uh, but whenever it's real pretty, like the other day, whenever you saw Kaiser on the on the video that we made, it was real pretty out here, and he. He loves to be out here, um, but right now, I mean, we've got a storm rolling in. You can see the clouds behind us. It's about 50, 50 degrees here right now, um, and it's about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. 53, and it's yeah. 4 o'clock right now. Yep, so, I mean, we've got some more rain coming in, um, which is great. We don't ever cuss the rain. We love the rain, um, but I will cuss the mud because it's not fun. So, there's, uh, there's one more thing I want to show you guys, and I, I, I love it uh, because it just shows that our kids do come out here and they do get involved. And whenever we built this thing behind us, it was freezing cold, borderline sleeting. Not whenever I say borderline, basically I mean, it was sleeting about the last two sheets of the roof. So. It was frigid. Yeah. It so, was freezing. It was not our best idea, but we had to get it done. So we didn't have a choice. <laughs> but here's, here's what I mean. They still come out here. Uh, I had a marker, write measurements, lining stuff whenever I was cutting, uh, especially like the metal and the wood and stuff like that. But my boys, they found a marker, especially Creed. I don't know if y'all can read that, but it's Creed's barn for the animals. So he likes them too. He loves them actually. So he, uh, he definitely brags to his friends. Janice. Janice, are you trying to find a hole somewhere? I would flip it out here. How do I turn this around? Let's see. That is Janice. We have named her Janice Joplin because we always find her in the woods. Um, she is our escape artist. I don't know how she manages to get out of the entire the duck cage and the big pin, but she will. And she will be out in the woods and I'll have to go chase her in a little bit. Oh, uh, something startled her right there. I think it was a tree or something though, but yeah, she'll be outside. She's an escape artist. That's why I have the uh, the wood panel over there. She found a hole for me, and due to all the mud and everything else, I have not been able to fix that. So I will fix that. But yeah, she's she's my little hole finder, and for some reason, I have a feeling she's finding another one over there. So Lucy, what you doing? Well, I can't wait till we can give y'all some baths. I know I'm it. glad that y'all got a winter coat coming on, though. So glad about that. Come here, scissor. You just staying away? Yeah. She's pretty moody today. She's moody about every day. But I think she's getting into her last uh, months or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. If I can get her to stop, I'll video her belly. 
you can see the baby moving. Moving around in there. <laughs> Pretty girl. See how wide she is. An old monkey. She don't push wonky out of the way. And there's little Ricky. Subscribe to our page. Bye.